so consider these two questions this is the first question it is asked in gate 1996 and the second question is asked in gate 2001 so the first question they are saying consider circuit shown below and this circuit is using a four cross one multiplexer we are having some inputs and we have are having some select lines now they are asking if this function so what is this function f representing and uh, you can check from the options below right so this is a four cross multi one multiplexer uh, i already we have already studied what is a four cross one multiplexer and i already shown you what is the diagram of a four cross one multiplexer so let us do one thing let us let me draw the diagram again and accordingly i will i will show you what is uh, the equation of the function f so this is a four cross one multiplexer diagram we are going to use four and gates and one or gate okay we have two select lines s0 and s1 this is a select line s0 this is a select line s1 and we have four inputs this is the first input second third and fourth so the first select line is it, it is s0 complement and s1 complement this one is s0 and s1 complement this one is s0 complement uh, s0 this one is s0 sorry this right so this one is s s0 complement and s1 and this one is s0 and s1 and the outputs are given to this or gate so that we can get the function f so uh, if i am giving c here c complement here again c complement here and c here and if i am giving b here and a here so you know what is the equation which we are going to get for this first and gate it will be a complement b complement c first will be a complement b complement c you can see it is a complement uh, a complement b complement c plus because this uh, this gate we have plus and this is a complement b and c complement it is a complement b c uh, c complement because i am giving c complement as input here in this case it is uh, a b complement C complement plus A B complement C complement C complement and this one is A B and C plus A B and C. So this uh, multiplexer is representing A complement B complement C plus A complement B C complement plus A B complement C complement plus A B C. You can see uh, none of this is actually representing this. So maybe they have minimized this given circuit. They minimized this one. Uh, they eliminated some of the terms so that uh, we can minimize the circuit so let us see if you can eliminate something mm, we have a complement b complement c a complement b c complement plus a b complement c complement plus a b c okay so you can take a is common from these two and you can take a complement as common from these two so it will be a complement b complement c plus b c complement plus if you take a as common then it is a b complement c complement plus b c further this can be represented as a complement as b xor c plus a b xor c and this b xor c can also be written as b xor c complement therefore it is a complement b xor c plus a it is b xor c whole complement so this equation can also be equated like this this equation can also be equated with this we have a complement b plus a b complement which is a xor b right so you can consider this term as for example x and this term will be x complement so it is a complement x plus a x complement so this uh, complete can also be written like this a xor b xor c and we know this uh, xor gate is associated therefore it can also be written as a xor b xor c therefore the answer to this question is option number c which is a xor b xor c okay so now let us take the second question in the in this case they are saying consider the circuit shown below the output of a two ratio one multiplexer is given by the function a c complement plus b c they are saying here we are getting ac complement plus bc right now which of the following is true okay so which of the following is true so 
it is not representing the function because they are saying the output of a two cross multiplexer multiplexer is given by the following function that means the output of this multiplexer is given by this function the output of this multiplexer is given by this function so it is not representing this function here so uh, for example uh, here this g can also be represented like this ac complement plus bc where this is a this is C complement, this is B and this is BC complement. Again, this output can also be shown by A C complement plus BC. So they have already given you the value of A and B. Here also they have given you the value of C. You can just put this value in this equation, then you can get the output. For example, for this G, for this function G, G can also be represented like this. Uh, here we have A C complement plus BC. What is the value of A? A is 1. What is the value of C? C is x1. So 1 dot x1 complement plus what is the value of B? It is 0. And what is the value of C? Dot x1 which can also be represented as x1 complement. Therefore this function G is actually represented x1 complement. And here we are giving x1. So this output is A C complement plus B C. So put the value of A. A is x1 complement. Uh, put the value of C. So it is x2 complement plus Put the value of b, b is x1, put the value of c, c is x2, therefore it can be represented as x1, x0, x2, x1, x0, x2 or you can say the option number c is correct in this case, option number c is correct in this case. So both these questions are very easy and in both the questions uh, they are just representing a function and then we have to tell what is the output of the function f, what is the output of the value f, right.